This is Scotland. In just a few minutes, more comedy with the two of us. But first, also a little earlier than build, tonight's late call from the Reverend Bill Catanach of St. George's West Church, Edinburgh. Now paying his final late call for the present, we welcome the Reverend Dane Sherard of Buckhaven Parish Church, Fife. That's the spirit, when you'll be meeting his new co-presenter, Shona Campbell. But now, let's meet the Macintosh man. Roll. May I, on behalf of Scottish television, wish you better viewing in the future.
Now your Saturday viewing on Scottish television comes to an end five minutes earlier than billed with the final late call for the present from the Reverend Lewis Misselbrook, advisor in evangelism for the Baptist Union. Tonight's late call with Christine Davis of the Society of Friends, Dumblane. Now on Scottish Australian drama with a country practice. Now it's time to welcome back Jim Bowen with a new series of Bullseye. Stay tuned to Through the Night on Scottish for the news from ITN. In half an hour here on Scottish Living and Growing for Adults looks at the new member of the family. Right now though, the hostages, tonight's episode of Room at the Bottom. an hour a spaghetti western takes coat to Italy as the fall guy but right now on Scottish it's time for Easy Street Scottish coming up later at 10.15, today's news from ITN. But now the festive season brings an inevitable extra workload for the watch in tonight's 90-minute special of London's Burning. In half an hour here on Scottish, Melvin Bragg traces the career of one of Britain's top playwrights, Christopher Hampton. That's tonight's South Bank show at 10.35. Right now, Rick Mail stars in The New Statesman. Next on Scottish, it's time to join TVAM. Now we feature Ferdinand the Bull and Mickey in a collection of cartoons. Back to our programmes for Monday evening here on Scottish. For now, for the first time this week, we drop into Weatherfield to find that it's celebration time for Bet and Alec Gilroy, but the limelight is taken away from them as Martin makes an announcement as we make our way down Coronation Street. In just over five minutes, the Scottish weather followed by Home and Away and the 540 News. First, an extra programme, Slick Chick.
Back to Friday on Scottish and now taking us through to the ITN lunchtime news at 12.30. For younger viewers, Tilly has a donkey ride in TOTS TV. Coming up in just under five minutes, the latest Scottish news in Scotland today, followed by a Disney comedy, Now You See Him, Now You Don't. That's after the news now from ITN. Now back for a new series, Scylla Black says, surprise, surprise. A Vietnam vet returns from action to discover that his estranged wife has disappeared in suspicious circumstances. In our late movie, Revenge is My Destiny, that's at 1.20. Right now though, Ensley League Extra. Now in Scottish nighttime, a family's almost perfect life is torn apart. In our movie, Always Remember, I Love You. Well, we'll be hearing from Sharon Stone when this morning continues in five minutes with Richard and Judy after the news headlines. Scottish, the news and sport in Scotland today. This is Scottish night time, and now an assassin thinks it's time to hang up his gun, but one last job remains. Patrick McGowan and Lee Van Cleef star in The Hard Way. The movie premiere, Chevy Chase, is at the Funny Farm. You're watching Scottish Night Time. And now, sadly, it's the last ever episode of Prisoner Cell Block H. Watching Scottish television, now he seems like a nice boy, the unforgettable Larry Grayson. The drama continues for Monsignor Renard at nine o'clock, but before that we visit a couple of better homes in East London. He 
here on Scottish, the emergency services continue their rescue operations while the villagers are desperately trying to cope with the tragedy that has struck at the heart of Emmerdale. Coming up in half an hour, Tuesday's ITV Evening News. But first, the news and sport making the headlines across Scotland today. Jonathan Dimbleby's here in a few minutes, but now there are the news from Scotland Today. David Jason stars in feature-length drama for you now here on Scottish when a murder of drug addict forces Detective Inspector Frost to face up to his checkered past. Back to Friday on Scottish and now what's on offer today in Dale's Supermarket Sweep. to tonight and Savage Planet looks at the devastation caused by powerful floods and storms. That's at 10.30. Meanwhile, a nasty shock for Curly and an unexpected visitor for Natalie in Coronation Street. And tomorrow night at 7.30 we'll be bringing you the big match between Hearts and Celtic. But for now, peak practice. <laughs> At 1.45, there's late-night drama here on Scottish in the movie Wildcard about a minister who turns his hand to detective work. But before that, we join Loud TV. Today special. And now, before we bring you all that football action, here's all the latest news. Still to come tonight at 10.30, they're young, they're posh and they're loaded. Now, though, we get all the latest from home and abroad in the ITV News at 10. Jackie thinks that she's met the love of her life now in family. This programme contains some strong language. At 10.30 tonight, they're posh, young and loaded. Then at 11, the club reps are going on strike. Now, though, Hanky's at the ready for a prison wedding. And the last in the series of Bad Girls. Instead of downing drinks, they're downing tools. The club reps are threatening strike action at 11. Now, though, one of the students is going back to Oxford. In Young, Posh and Loaded, this programme contains strong language. Well, despite the body count, there's still plenty of people left in Buckinghamshire to keep Tom Barnaby busy. And a couple more obligingly bite the dust now, in Midsummer Murders. In just over an hour's time, the first of a two-part lavish dramatisation of the story of Noah's Ark. But first, we join Jim Rosenthal for highlights of today's German Grand Prix. This is Scottish TV, and Mary Nightingale soaks up the sun in Tuscany and wish you were here in an hour. 
Now, though, another chance to see the best bits of Dolly Parton on Des and Mel today. We'll be playing Family Fortunes in half an hour, but first, fasten your seatbelts and prepare to land at Luton Airport or Airline. Good morning, it's Tuesday the 14th of October. Now it's time to join GMTV. Get your tickets ready for a Thomas the Tank Engine experience on CITV at quarter past three today. That's after the original news, which follows the ITV news headlines. Chris Tarrant will be here in an hour with star guests including Simon Cowell for a special edition of Millionaire. Taking us up to that, put aside those Christmas cracker jokes, here's Dennis Norton's laughter file. In Emmerdale tonight at 7, the court makes its decision about baby Christopher's future, and it comes as a shock to both Zoe and Charity. Now though, music from the island of Lewis. Well, Marlon Dingle's dangling his mistletoe in the direction of Trisha in tonight's Emmerdale. And don't forget the bill is tonight at half past seven. Right now though, the ITV News. Debbie and Andy decide to come clean about their affair in Emmerdale at seven to take us there. Phil Schofield brings us a Christmas special which looks back at past storylines in Emmerdale. Christmas crackers. At 2.30 on Scottish TV, another cookery challenge and the heat is on when reality bites. Now though, the afternoon edition of Scotland Today with Stephen and Louise. <laughs> When the wife of a murdered lawyer appears unmoved by her husband's death, Burke and Reed reckon they've caught the killer. But nothing is ever as straightforward in Taggart. We're all together Scotland with a whole new look. This is STV. This is STV with a whole new look, but still with all your favourite programmes. And now, an entertaining couple of hours guaranteed, this morning. Well, Paul and Debbie have gone, who'll be next? It's altogether unmissable on STV, The X Factor at nine. Now though, who's got The X Factor in Emmerdale? Wow, what a prize. The gang returned to face a new threat. There's some competition, but Barber Shop 2 is back in business. That's our film at 11.35. But now on XTV, it's all about cooking on Pushing Daisies. Join Leo and the Rookies on their global adventure in Take Me to the Edge at 9. But first on XTV, some unfinished business between Tony and Luke. So Ned and Olive take part in a cookery contest. It's another slice of pushing daisies at 10.35 and a movie at 11.35 is Barbershop 2 back in business. But now on STV, it's News at 10. TV. And later on at 10.30, Gary Barlow joins Philip and Fern and we'll be flipping some pancakes on this morning. First though, Jeremy Kyle. Love on the Rock, Sweet Caroline and some celebrity fans. It's an audience with Neil Diamond at 7.20. First on STV, TV's golden decade from 79 to 89 continues with Minder and World of Sport.
That's a good boost to the bank balance, but you have to be in it to win it. More hot seat hopefuls after that million pounds at 8.20. But first on STV, a celebrity audience get up close and personal with a diamond geezer. You're watching STV and looking ahead, there's an hour long Emmerdale tonight at 7, then at 8 as darkness descends, an amateur astrologer comes to an untimely end in a feature length Midsummer Murder. Right now, though, the chase is on. Well, later on tonight at 9 on STV, turn up the heat for the final of Marco's Kitchen Burnout with Ellen Rivas and Alex Ferns. Right now, though, time to join Stephen and Michelle for the hour. With interviews with Yoko Ono and fan Liam Gallagher, the day John Lennon died is at 10.40. But first, with some strong language, it's the Savoy. We're back to Coronation Street in half an hour after a look at Welsh-style bread and butter pudding. Yummy, it's Countrywise Kitchen on STV. Now on STV, Burt Reynolds stars in our movie, Smokey and the Bandit. Bringing you all the latest local and Scottish news, it's the STV News at Six. Now, time to catch up with what's on STV with Night Screen. Now time for all your local top stories. It's the STV News at 6. Now time for all the days. STV News at 6. David and his dealers pitch up in Middlesbrough today in Dickinson's Real Deal later on at 2 o'clock. First, though, let's get all the latest news and current affairs in Good Morning Pro